Can you solve this beautiful exponential equation? It's so easy. Let me take you through it step by step. And don't forget to tell us how it helps in the comment. Let's do this together to have. So we're going to begin with our solution. Let's repeat what we have. 8 to the power of x multiplies 4 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now what we do is we can take this to share a common base. We know too well that 8 is 2 multiplied 3 times, which is 2 cubed. 4 is 2 multiplied 2 times, which is 2 squared. So we can rewrite this to half. 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power x multiplies 2 squared raised to the power x is equal to 30. Now what do you do next? Just quickly remember, for every a to the power of n raised to the power n, is a to the power of m multiplied by m, the powers multiply. So in that case, applying it here, you see that this powers, to remove this, the powers we multiply. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 3x multiplies 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 30. Also remember, for every a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, is a to the power of m plus n, the powers will always add when the numbers are being multiplied, when the indices are being multiplied. So what you do here is, you see that these bases are the same, just like what you have here. So quickly add the powers since these two are multiplying. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 3x add 2x is equal to 30. And that gives us 2 to the power of and this gives you 5x is equal to 30. Now, take the log of both sides. So we have log of 2 to the power of 5x is equal to log of 30. What do you do next? Remember, for every log of a to the power of x, it is x log a. So if you apply this rule on the left side, this power multiplies the log. So we have 5x. We multiply the log. So we have 5x log 2 is equal to log of 30. Remember, your target is x. And all these are multiplied. So to get x, divide by this 5 and divide by log 2. Do it to the both sides so that the equation will be balanced. This takes of this. This takes of this. So we're going to have x is equal to log of 30 divided by 5 log 2. Do you intend to leave it at this point? No, it's not yet simplified. So we're going to simplify knowing too well that 30 is the same as 2 multiplied by 15. 15 is 3 multiplied by 5. So it means that this can be written as log of 30 is the same as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. That gives us 30. And is divided by 5 log of 2. So keep solving. We are going to have. Now at this point, remember also for every log of A multiplied by B, it is the same as log of A. Multiplication comes to addition. So this is what we have. Now if you apply this rule here, you have X is equal to log of 2 plus log of 3 plus log of 5, and it's been divided by 5 log 2. Keep solving. X is equal to, use this to divide each of the numerators, and that gives us log of 2 divided by 5 log 2, plus log of 3 divided by 5 log 2, plus log of 5 divided by 5 log 2. Now we can simplify. You see that these two are the same, the same number, so they can take off. None of these are the same. So we're going to have it. Just remember, for every log of A divided by log of B, it's always log of A base B, the change of base rule. So we can apply it here. And from here, we have X is equal to, this gives us, Remember, the equation here is 1. So we have 1 fifth left plus we have, here is 1. So we have 1 on 5. This or this, using this, gives us 
log of 3 base 2 plus this is 1 so we have 1 fifth log of 5 base 2 and this gives us the simplified value of x now we're going to plug this x value on this part to see if it gives us back 30. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what we do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like, sharing it helps algorithm to send to more people. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you every day. Thank you. And let's keep doing this. The second phase is the most interesting part. Don't miss it. Let's verify together to have to verify. So we have x to the power of x. This is our x one fifth plus one fifth log three base two plus one fifth log five base two. Then it's multiplied by four to the power of one fifth plus one fifth log three base two plus one fifth log five base 2. We want to know if this gives us 30. So what do we do at this point? Just recall what we stated earlier that a to the power of m plus n is a to the power of m raised to power this. So we apply these rules. Looking at this, you observe that this is of this form. So we want to put it in this form to help us to simplify. And if you do that, we have x to the power of one fifth multiplied by a to the power of one fifth log three base two is multiplied by a to the power of one fifth log five base two. Then all these are being multiplied by four to the power of one fifth multiplied by four to the power. We are as working on this using this, so we're going to have one fifth of log three base two multiplied by 4 to the power of 1 fifth of log 5 base 2. Now, what do you do next? Just remember quickly that we said this is the same as 2 to the power of 3. So in that case, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 is raised to the power of 1 fifth multiplied by 8 to the... So this is the same as... This 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3 is multiplied by 1 fifth log 3 base 2. Then it's also multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is multiplied by 1 fifth log 5 base 2. Then let's come to this. We have multiplied by 4, as we said earlier, is 2 to the power of 2 raised to power one fifth multiplied by two to the power of two raised to power of one fifth log three base two is multiplied by two to the power of two raised to power of one fifth log five base two. Now we are going to open up the brackets. We multiply the paths. So if you do that, we have, let's take it to this part. So this gives us two this is over 1, so we have 3 on 5 is multiplied by 2 to the power. This gives us 3 on 5 log 3 base 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 on 5 log 5 base 2. Do same here. We now have, is also multiplied, so we have multiplied by 2 to the power of, multiplied this is over 1, so we have 2 to the power of, 2 fifth multiplied by 2 to the power of this is over 1. So we have 2 on 5 log 3 base 2 multiplied by 2 to the power. This is over 1. So we have 2 fifth log 5 base 2. Now, what do you do next? Just quickly remember for every a to the power of log of b base a is always equal to this number b. Now, if you apply this rule here, but if you look at this, see that from the statement, the quotient of this log is 1. But what we have in these ones are numbers other than 1. But you have to remember, the coefficient of the log is the power of the number. So we're going to make this to be the power of these numbers. And if you do that, 
we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 fifths multiplied by 2 to the power of log of 3 base 2 is raised to the power of 3 on 5. Then multiplied by 2 to the power of log of 5 base 2 is raised to the power of 3 on 5. Then multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 fifths multiplied by 2 to the power of log of 3 base 2. This becomes power of 2 on 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of log of 5 base 2 raised to the power of 2 on 5. Now, if you can ap if you apply this rule here, noticing that the coefficients of these logs are 1, so we can apply this. In that case, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 fifths multiplied by these two are the same. So we have 3 to the power of 3 fifths. And this is multiplied by these are the same. So we take 5 to the power of 3 fifths is multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 fifths multiplied by these two are the same. So we take 3 to the power of 2 fifths is also multiplied by these two are the same. We take 5 to the power of 2 fifths. Now you observe that this and this are of the same basis, this are of the same basis, this are of the same basis, and they are multiplying. So we can quickly apply our rule of exponents to have 2 to the power of 3 fifths multiplies 2. So let's bring these ones that are the same basis together. 2 fifths multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 fifths is multiplied by this, 3 to the power of 2 fifths. Then we bring this, we have 5 to the power of 3 fifths is multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 fifths. Now, gathering them, we have three, 2 add the power since the basis are the same. So we have 3 fifths add 2 fifths multiplied by this is 3. Add the powers, you have 3 fifths add 2 fifths is multiplied by 5. Add this, you have 3 fifths add 2 fifths. Keep simplifying. 2 denominators are the same. Add the powers. So we're going to have 3 add 2, and that will give us 5. So we are having 2 to the power of 5 on 5 multiplies by 3. Add this, it gives you 5. So you have 5 on 5 is multiplied by 5 to the power. The same we have 5 on 5. And that gives us 2 to the power. Divide the number by itself is 1. And 2 raised to power 1 is 2. So whenever you raise the number to 1, is that number. Multiplied by this gives us 3, this gives us 5. And when you multiply this, it gives you 6 times 5 gives you 30. And that is what we have at the right side. So it means that x we got as 1 fifth plus 1 fifth log 3 base 2 plus 1 fifth log 5 base 2 is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something today. If you did, don't forget to tell us how much. Give this a like. Sharing it helps the algorithm to send to more people. And I'll be curious to see your own method. Thank you for choosing to lend to us. I see you in our next class. Bye-bye.